It's inevitable that you're going to be kind of forced into looking at this because you're from Tasmania and you're talking to me in England, you're going to Germany and there's this kind of journey thing going on and you're going to be confronting, you know, going from me, you're going to then meet some of the other people involved like Damo Suzuki and things and it's, it's inevitable that that journey will become more real, I think, yeah. record shops. When, you went into, when I went into a record shop when I was 13, 14, 15, 16 or whatever, you know, I'd see your Pink Floyd, I mean, ever there was stacks of Dark Side of the Moon. Yeah. And then I'd see all these other records and they were like, you know, bloody hell, 29 pence for this weird record with a, a cover by Bridget Riley with a sleeve notes on the back from John Peel. And I'm like going, I'll take that. <laughs> it's a Faust tapes, you know, that it turns out to be a classic. Improvisation is which so most of the jazz musicians are doing and uh, everybody is playing uh, uh, own solos and so it's uh, quite getting a chaos and so. It's not uh, uh, you can you can find it. It, it is improvised, but uh, instant composing is which we create and uh, create time and space on the stage and getting a piece which audience don't uh, most of the audience don't believe that uh, we are improvising kind of you know that they they say, uh, thinking that oh we uh, playing this piece for maybe two three years already and so. It was just uh, the time that uh, in the 1970s it's uh, just uh, getting uh, popular in Germany also because uh, many teeny papers is uh, putting our photos and the stories and so on. And, uh, it, uh, but uh, I think it was a really good time to leave the group in uh, yeah. such a moment than getting down, you know? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I think actually I didn't make so bad things. 68, that was the, in Germany the year of of the revolution, yeah, the yeah. student uh, and youth yeah. thinking came up. I you think so. It, uh, yeah, there was something, it was a revolution. I, it felt like a revolution yeah. uh, and a uh, liberation too. Liberation from old, uh, because up to that time Germany was, uh, uh, there was not much freedom. Yeah, I think. And I thought repetition and monotony there are, there are basic elements of what I want to do. Okay. And that's what, that's what uh, when we started CAN, we thought we have to play as, and as monotonous as we can. Yeah. Repeat the uh, same f things over and over and again. Yeah. I had a lot of arguments at that time with people. Yeah. They came to me and said, I'm stupid. Because I repeat all the all these patterns again and again, I'm stupid and I have no ideas. And what was your response to that? Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's strange. There is a, a particular sound, but I didn't, uh, I, and I still I don't know why it is here. Yeah. Why? Why? Uh, how this came? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Even I know the people that do this. Or if it's Kraftwerk or Can yeah. or Neu, yeah. I know the people, and they, it's the same notes, but the way they play it, it sounds different, like yeah. in England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't explain to you why yeah. that is. The rhythm is not as. Uh, uh, given uh, like the rhythm and blues thing or, or the, the, the mercy beats I say from the England or the Anglo-American sound you know yeah. they have this four beat thing and we always had this funny funny rhythms times in it yeah of times and and I think we have a special sound which is only uh, made by us yeah. and by no one else yeah. and um, to me, I, yeah, my feeling, it, it's, it's, I don't know, but it's a little German, yeah. yeah. <laughs>